Good people, meet the Legion Slim 7i. Now, you might have already watched our Legion 7i review video. In fact, if you missed that, you can check it out right over here. That was already a pretty compact 15 inch gaming notebook. But the Slim 7i takes that compact approach to the next level by shaving off some weight, some height, without compromising too much on specs. I also wanna share my story behind this notebook because a few years ago, I actually got a chance to check out an early concept design of this notebook uh, at Lenovo's headquarters in North Carolina. Uh, basically, Legion wanted us to give them all sorts of feedback, not just from us, but from the gaming community as well. Uh, and they've now finally sent an early pre-production sample and they're sponsoring this video so that we, got, we can get an early hands-on look at what happened with all that feedback. So while we'll still have to wait for the final retail sample to do a complete performance analysis, I can already say that a lot of the feedback that we talked about in Carolina have been brought over to the Slim 7i. A lot of the concept behind this gaming laptop comes from the Y740 SI, which we didn't see here in North America and its goal was a bit unique. Basically, it offered high-end CPU processing horsepower in an ultra-portable form factor, but it didn't come with a discrete graphics card. If you wanted to game, it needed to be hooked up to an external GPU dock. The Slim 7i, on the other hand, aims to be the best of both worlds. It's still super slim and portable, but it can include an NVIDIA RTX GPU. They've also improved a few other things from the 740SI, so think of it as a standard Legion 7i gaming laptop that's been put on a very strict diet. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is the targeted audience for the Slim 7i, because if you think about it, the standard 7i was geared towards gamers who wanted a no compromise desktop replacement that can deliver the fastest performance while also being portable when you absolutely needed it. The Slim 7i on the other hand is for more mobile gamers who want the ultimate blend of portability and performance mixed into one device. There are also some other features that are catered specifically towards creators. So in a lot of ways, there's gonna be some overlap between the original 7i and the Slim 7i. Either device is completely practical for its market, but Legion is not giving you a choice between the two. That being said, the 7i's high-end performance did come with some trade-offs. It was still pretty lean for a gaming notebook, but it weighed in around 4.6 pounds or a little over two kilos. The Slim 7i on the other hand revolves around the portability aspect because it only weighs less than four pounds or 1.8 kilos, and it's only 17.9 millimeters thick versus 20 millimeters on the 7i. This is tied for the slimmest gaming laptop we've looked at, but it's certainly the lightest. I was instantly able to tell the size and the weight difference between both these notebooks. By the way, this is the regular 7i. Um, the other cool thing is that you don't sacrifice a ton on performance with a Slim 7i. So both gamers and creators can comfortably use this machine uh, and also be able to comfortably lug it around as well. Actually, the progress that's been made in just the last few years is pretty impressive. Legion and other companies have gone from laptops uh, that were a whole lot thicker to devices that are under 20 millimeters. From a physical perspective, I really like the looks of the Slim 7i. The first thing that I noticed is the color consistency across the chassis. The top, the edge, the bottom panel all come in this slate gray finish instead of the black and gray mix on the 7i. It ended up looking a lot more stealth and something that you can easily rock in a coffee shop or a classroom setting. Taking a look at the I.O., on the left-hand side, there's an audio jack, a full-size SD card reader. Keep in mind that that's UHS-1 instead of UHS-2. Towards the right, you'll find two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and on the rear side, you'll find a couple of USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports and power in. So yes, you are losing on a few dedicated display outputs, a few USB ports, and an RJ45 jack compared to the original 7i, but that is to be expected for its form factor. The power adapter is also slimmer than the standard 7i, but keep in mind that some models do need a bigger one because of the hardware packed in. The minimum is 170 watts, which comes with the lower end SKUs. Max is 230 watts, which looks similar to the 7i. The interior space for the most part is clean and pretty fingerprint resistant too, uh, and there is a full glass trackpad with support for Windows precision drivers. The power button acts as a fingerprint reader, so that's pretty cool. The keyboard is something that I wanna quickly bring up too because it's definitely one of those factors that I brought up to Legion during the feedback process when I was back in North Carolina. Basically, you know, I was telling them, hey, your ThinkPad notebooks have some of the best keyboards on the market, period. I mean, I love what you guys do with that uh, stuff. Why not bring some of that tech into your gaming notebook. And the result is the True Strike keyboard, which was first used on the Legion 7i and 5i, and it's making an appearance here again. The switches have 1.3 millimeters of travel and are soft landing, but they also have a really nice tactile feel. Moving on to specs, the base config comes with Intel's 10th Gen Core i5-10300H 
8 gigabytes of RAM, a 512GB NVMe SSD, a GTX 1650 Ti, and a 1080p 300 nit display, and it'll cost you $1350 US dollars. The top tier spec comes with a Core i9-10980HK 8-core 16-thread CPU, 32 gigabytes of RAM, 2 terabyte SSD, and an RTX 2060 Max-Q, along with Windows 10 Pro, and the option to choose either 4K color accurate screen with 600 nits, or your standard 1080p 144 hz 300 nit display. Like I said earlier, this is geared towards either content creators or gamers, or maybe even both. That's actually not too bad for the world's lightest 15.4 inch gaming laptop with RTX graphics. It's pretty amazing to see what Lenovo has been able to cram inside this machine. Now, I do wanna mention that there is a spec overlap between both these notebooks uh, in terms of CPU, memory, storage, and the graphics card. So if you want a Core i9 processor, you can have it on both notebooks. If you want up to 32 gigs of RAM, you can have that on both as well. Uh, if you want RAID 0 configurations, that's also available. The only exception is the graphics card because the regular 7i can be configured up to an RTX 2080 Super Max Q GPU, whereas the Slim 7i is only limited to an RTX 2060 Max Q graphics card. Uh, now, Premiere and Resolve will definitely get a huge boost in terms of render times on this notebook, especially in this form factor. The battery on the Slim 7i is smaller compared to this guy right over here. So you're getting a three cell 71 watt hour unit uh, versus a four cell 80 watt hour unit. Now I can't give you guys a battery analysis uh, test or how long the battery lasts because this is a pre-production sample, but I'll have to wait for the full retail unit to run those tests. So definitely stay tuned for that. Now, given Legion has packed this notebook with some serious hardware, they didn't want to compromise on cooling performance. They've added intake vents at the front that directly goes towards the CPU and the GPU, which should result in better temperatures and therefore maintaining higher clock speeds. Legion has also brought the cold front 2.0 cooling system from the 7i to the Slim series, but they have made some modifications to better optimize temperatures. This consists of copper heatsink with thermal sensor arrays and thicker fans to optimize airflow, the exhaust vents are positioned appropriately towards the side and the back. It'll be really interesting to see what temperatures over time would look like, so definitely stay tuned for our full review. Finally, the 7i Slim also incorporates NVIDIA's Max-Q Dynamic Boost, which is a really important addition to a thinner gaming design that might have a lower allowable wattage than thicker laptops. Basically, it identifies when the GPU becomes a bottleneck and then shifts power from the CPU in real time in order to increase in-game performance. Up to 15 watts of additional overhead can be directed towards the graphics card when it's needed. So that pretty much concludes this super early hands-on look on the Lenovo Legion Slim 7i. I'm actually really curious to run our full performance analysis and give you guys our full verdict on this machine. So like I said, stay tuned uh, and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.